Dusty War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. I can't remember. I think I have mods set off. Cancel. Huh. Hey, my turn, big guy. Oh, I forgot you could be a chick. You know what? I'm gonna be a chick. No, I normally am a male character. I'm one of the few of my friends who actually plays as male characters all the time. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thank you. <sighs> I kind of like them. Let me just slide in here. Honey, let me use the sink. Honey, let me use okay. the sink. Come on. I had five fucking seconds at the sink. Give it about mid. I kind of want to make her thinner. Nope. That's probably good. Eh, screw it. I kind of like the way she looks casually. <laughs> I may have picked a female character, but not fucking dudes. I'm gonna fuck other chicks. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> Codsworth? Enjoy your coffee, Mum. I'm just gonna drink it, you know, from five feet away. <laughs> slurp, 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 slurp. I shall attend to young Shaw. <laughs> I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. But then when we get a cold front coming down from Canada, it makes you crisp and dry next to <laughs> Halloween music. Hun? Wow. Look at you. How'd a guy like me ever get so lucky, huh? And knocked her up in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Do 30 minute streams of this. I'm gonna just do 30 minutes and I'm stuck because it's not his child. Why is this kid brown? It's not his child. It ain't his child. She cheated. It's either a Mexican or a half black baby. Hey, Codsworth. Don't worry about the dishes. That's my job. I don't remember the beginning of this game. It's been so long since I've actually played it. All I remember is siding with the Institute and feeling like shit afterwards. He's persistent. There we yeah. fucking go. Good morning, Voltaire calling. Voltaire. Voltaire. Remind me again. <clears throat> Why we're about you, ma'am, and helping secure your future. You see, Voltaire is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. 
urgency. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. I if love that expression. Language, heck in a handbasket. Would you excuse my expression? Basic white guy it's right here. inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Did you come in your pants? Now I know you're <laughs> work, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um... <laughs> A precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Um, so there's one thing that always bothered me with the beginning of these games. Especially this one. Like, sometimes some of this shit doesn't make sense. But if you notice, it's the nuke's about to drop, and he just came to my door to tell me, hey, you can get in the vault. Like, they either know that the nukes are about to drop, or this guy's covering for his ass because he fucked up, and he's like, I never got to talk to him. Take too much of your time. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course. Of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. I think you can either be pre-selected because you're a scientist or if you like worked with the military. So since her husband is technically military, or if you were a male for the main playthrough. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. See, the thing about the passion is is that literally all the vaults are ran by these crazy batshit scientists who experiment on these people without their like knowledge illegally in a bunch of them so there's like it ranges from like oh we're going to poison them oh we're going to mutagenically test them and oh we're going to Make them hate each other and kill one another off every year as a sacrifice until they learn, oh, we shouldn't sacrifice someone. And then be like, uh, oh, hey, uh, it was all a plot. We just wanted to see how long this could last as a psychological thing. And, like, the worst part is, is what are you, who are you collecting research for if the world's going to fucking end? What backward-ass thinking would that be that where they would be like, oh, fuck. ISIS. ISIS. It makes sense now, Ryan. It, thinks, it makes perfect sense. Um, should I just make her steroids? Just steroids. Uh, I'm not gonna go full tan. I'm gonna go. I think in, I think you can boost up each of these when you level up for a certain thing. Uh, agility and luck mean almost nothing. Actually, fuck. Actually, luck does. Um. I'll just do that. Okay. Oh, fuck, I forgot the name. What should I name her, Ryan? Sheila. <laughs> Sheila from Red vs. Blue? Yes. Sheila, you can fix Sheila. I love you. The most magical talking tank to ever exist that also became a plane at one point. Um, thanks again. <laughs> I accidentally skipped the deal when I was trying to get the fuck out of it. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. This 
Holy fuck, you said your name? You just called me Sheila. Oh, I forgot. If you have a basic name that's not crazy, they can fucking say it. Also, watch out for your foot because it's right next to my power button. Sure, you're white. Why don't you give it a spin? Pretty sure he's white. He's slightly tan, but I don't know. That baby's complexion makes me wonder. He, she either cheated or he needs to get his oil changed. <laughs> he got his oil changed to my boy. To darkest fuck boy. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. See, he didn't look bad to begin with, but once he starts opening his mouth, you can tell how ugly he is. And do what, exactly? Let's just fuck in the park and let the baby watch. <laughs> Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh... Trying to get confirmation. I love the voice actors for this game. We've lost contact with our station stations. Oh, no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York, <laughs> Pennsylvania. My God. New York and Pennsylvania. So that's why the East Coast is fucked. But the further the west you go, you're better. So it's all the coastal cities, but like the Residents middle sanctuary state Hill. areas are if fine. You are registered, evacuate to Vault 111. Evacuate. Run, bitch, run! Dude, a bomb's about to drop. Fuck your belongings and run. <laughs> Am I right? It's like fuck my Xbox. <laughs> That's, that, I fuck, I would run f back for my Xbox. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Everyone just went to like nuclear war and shot each other with there. fucking nukes okay? at the same time. Fine. So, which is why all the Chinese ghouls okay. you see, some of them, one of them was I in a you. submarine. Oh my god! Like, I'm pretty sure China got fucked too, but you never, you never know for a hundred percent. Hold on! Did it. Did oh, it. there's a cryo gun in here because this is the vault that tests cryogenics. Step off the elevator and proceed up to be the fair, though, this one wasn't like super it. fucked up. No it tested the cryogenics device. so that way they could keep these people alive longer. Still kind of fucked up, but not as bad. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stair. Um, but. The dog can fetch you items, so as soon as you leave and get the dog, you can literally come back in here because you have to have a master lockpick skill. So you can just have the dog grab it. Excuse me. This way, please. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? Oh, I forgot. You can go to third person. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. 
Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Keyword, this is one of our most events. So is this the one where we actually aren't purposely trying to fuck with our residents? <laughs> we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Excuse Just me. step in here and put your vault suit on. Take your top. Step. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. And thus what? And thus Iceman was born. Okay. Well, technically she's a lady. Oh yeah, you could have been talking about the husband, goddamn. You know, but uh, I had my mic set to uh, like to shut out background noise, so you can sometimes pick up what other people are saying, even though you're close to me. But it picks it up better once I turn that back on. Uh, or I can give you a mic. This is the one. I just don't have one on me. Oh. It's just because Sammy had fucking Rick and Morty on every fucking day. I had full volume in the room. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. No. Come here. No. I got it. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. How does he know it's a boy? Oh, we might have the documentation papers. Yeah, I thought originally that from the Vault Tech Company. What? I thought originally these guys were from the Vault Tech Company. Oh, you, you originally thought they were from the Vault Tech Company? Yeah. Nah, they're not. They institute as fuck. But if you notice, that guy that just shot your husband, when you go through his mind, he was. He used to live where Fallout New Vegas took place, and like his history is kind of funny. And a lot of these people are people from previous games, you just don't notice it because they're like older. I thought it would be cute too because I found out there was marriage in this game so I came back and grabbed uh, my wife's wedding ring and then asked the reporter chick to marry me or pursue a relationship with her at least what? Who did this? And it just randomly gives you the you wedding back. ring. Hello? Anyone? The one thing I didn't like about Fallout 4 is the crafting system to improve items by using other items as durability to keep it up is uh, taken away. New jumpsuit.
do 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 do. Shriek a bug. Uppercut. <laughs> roach me. Roach me. Ooh, ha. Giant roaches. What the hell? I want to try to play this on a harder setting, like probably just hard, not very hard, to get more of a challenge out of it. So once I leave the vault, I'll set it to hard. everyone I don't know why I picked it up it's a power attack a super punch is this all that's left See, this is the cryo gun, one of the best guns in the game. But if you just get the dog and come back, I guess it just lets him fetch it for you. Didn't mean to do that. Why, why is to jump? I hate that. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take the. Di oh my god. This, it depends on the gun, like pistols are fucking terrible. I normally use like shotguns and like big ass guns. Cause even if you were slightly off it would correct. Or they'd take fucking splash damage. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Oh, I forgot you could melee while using a gun. That was something I did like about this. Oh yeah, I forgot. In my settings, I turn everything to blood red. Makes it creepier.
Oh fuck, I didn't know it took me to full health. That's one thing I hated. It shows, like, whenever you use an item, it shows you how much it does, and I love that. But in the beginning, I got confused. And then I would, like, overuse shit. <laughs> I guess someone wanted to see what would happen with Cogsworth, your personal robot, uh, if you went through the whole game without getting him. And they did, and then they came back after they killed Sean. So, like, they explained it, and it was, like, super convoluted. And Cogsworth got all depressed. This game runs a lot smoother when it first, than when it first came out, I will admit. All those updates. And I have all the DLCs too, so I can go back and do them again. came into the vault. Maybe you saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Mm, only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. <laughs> I swear, the love of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ah, uh, not like you, Mum. You're the perfect mother. <laughs> <coughs> He just played off their death. He's... in a better place. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers. Or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir, I didn't laugh, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. Sean's been kidnapped. 
I didn't like the variety of speech in this game. It was just the same response said four different fucking ways. Not like Fallout 3. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mom. People take a little for the earth. Here, do the conversation real fast. I gotta go blow my nose. Here's the headset. Conversation. Two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. What about breathing in your mic? Should I should I try to persuade him? Mm. Oh please take your time. I actually do. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I, I, uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the utility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Hand me the controller. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it, stay, stay with me. With me pal. Focus. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you. There's a, there's a basement that you could miss at the start of the game that has like a bunch of supplies and shit that can get you well set off. Thank you, Codsworth. Yeah, he just gives me a take that my husband left. He's like, I love you, this and that, me and Sean. It's supposed to like tear you emotionally, but. I feel like this fallout out of many of them just kind of All right. tugs at your heartstrings. Away. Is it one of these fucking houses has a goddamn fucking basement? It might be up more. Yeah, yeah, I have the locking lid tubs, but thanks for letting me know. Oh fuck brown recluses. Ah oh, god damn it. They eat them. Jesus. Jesus. Aren't there bugs I'm supposed to fight in this fucking neighborhood or some shit? I literally think I'm just gonna start like demolishing most of it and rebuilding it. Cause I didn't really build much and establish things last time I put this game. Miss Sheila. What the Codsworth. Miss Sheila. Sir and young Sean. They aren't here. Oh, he killed the bugs already, Jesus. I was supposed to fight bugs, but like, I was like, where the fuck did Codsworth go? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't keep up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember? 
remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. And then I get the dog if memory serves. Take the bloatfly meat. Fuck is a goddamn basement. There's supposed to be a basement in the back of one of these fucking ha or not a basement, a uh cellar. There's a cellar outside of one of these is supposed to hold some shit. What I remember is it's kinda like hidden and you normally wouldn't notice it. It's this far down, though. That's the problem. One of these fucking houses. And maybe they removed it in a patch. I don't know why they would, but maybe they did when people found out about it. There was a goddamn cellar around one of these houses. 100% sure. This workbench to try to scrap everything. It only lets me destroy the bad houses, I think. Start scrapping stuff. I want to get this place set up like a fucking fortress. And then that. Oh yeah, I know. One of these fucking houses had a goddamn cellar. Maybe I'm delusional, but it's almost certain. I could use all the steel and scrap metal to make shit too, so I'm helping myself off early, deciding to do this. But I hate how the game doesn't just blatantly tell you. It's like a figure out yourself shit. This is one of those things where, like, you know, games tell you too much and you're like, fuck. This is one of those things where it's like, would have been nice to know. I didn't even notice that thing.
Make this place clean as fuck. Jesus, John. I know, you've been fucking farting like nonstop. How did your co worker survive? Oh. That explains it. Fish and cabbage. Did you just say decapitated seahorses, Ryan? Jesus. He's kind of out of it because he only got two sleeps. I would. Well, I'm kind of. I would be interested to do a Dungeons and Dragons again, but I'd have to create another character because I lost my character sheet. Ryan's cognitive functions have failed to work currently. So basically, we're, yeah, we're just gonna flip the switches. Yeah, Tony told me to tell you. Uh, yeah, it'd probably be best because I had to park in front of. I'm gonna end this stream and then continue to construct shit. Then I'll start up another stream.